I discovered the body of one of your divers washed up on the beach this morning. Who are you? I'm Megan Arthur, professor of marine biology from the U of A. How do you, how do you know it was our diver? Diver suit had your logo on it. Where's the body? In my lab. Excuse me? It's just that if I let the coroner collect the body before I could properly research it, his report would claim shark attack. And I believe this to be something other than a shark. Something other? I've been tracking this unknown predator responsible for this large amount of seals washing up along the coast. Is that unusual? It is. Only because they've been exsanguinated. What the hell does that mean? Entirely drained of blood. And your diver is the first human casualty I'm aware of. Damn sea vampires. Sea vampires? <laughs> Don't listen to him. They're a local legend. And the key word being legend. Care to enlighten me? I think I remember a little bit from elementary school. I think it dates back to the 1800s, started by a wounded fisherman who washed ashore. Locals say that before he died, the fisherman claimed to have been attacked by a sea vampire. A fanged, blood-drinking beast born beyond the icy depths. I need to learn as much as I can about this legend. Tourist Center should have all the info you need. You can call me tomorrow about collecting the body. Be careful out there. Up until now, the great white shark was the worst thing known to man. Whatever this is, it's even worse.